Hello, welcome. Thank you for tuning into this video. My name is Christina and I'm an exercise instructor with a Cambridgeshire based charity called Possibility. At Possibility, we are positive about your ability. Our specialisation is working with people with long term neurological conditions. So that may be stroke survivors or people living with Parkinson's disease or MS or other conditions. But we're also happy to help anyone who finds their mobility is a little bit reduced, perhaps through arthritis or injury or joint replacement. Perhaps you find you haven't been out and about as much in recent months as you used to. Whatever the reason you need to get moving at home, you're welcome to join one of our online sessions. There are lots throughout the week, so plenty of opportunity for choice. I'm sure we can find a setting that will suit you. So most of our exercises online are chair based and I'm going to show you a few exercises you can do from whatever you're sitting in right now. And if you're a wheelchair user, you can access these exercises from your wheelchair. Right. OK, let's get started. So coming into our work position, that is sitting nice and tall in the chair, feet flat on the floor with your knees a little bit apart so you're well balanced. So to begin with, we're going to do a little bit of warming up. So start by just marching on the spot. Perhaps you can use your arms as well. If anything hurts, then you should stop and join in where you feel you can. Great. Are you feeling a little bit warmer? Start to slow that down and bring your hands and arms to a rest. You're going to get the ankles moving with a little bit of toe tapping. So just tap your toes. If you can't use one side of your body through injury or paralysis, then you can just focus on your strong side. All movement is good movement. Great, bring those toes to a rest and just bounce on your heels. Let me show you a side view so you can see more clearly what I'm up to. You don't have to go up. Bonus. So let's get started. First of all, sitting in your chair as tall as you can, Feet a little bit apart so you're well balanced. We're going to do a little bit of marching on the spot to begin with. Just till you feel a little bit warmer. Perhaps you can use your arms as well. So your limbs don't work as they used. Then just focus on your strong side. And just keep moving as best you can. Go at your own pace. Don't worry about keeping up with me. We're going to slow that down a little now and bring your hands and arms to a rest. Let's get the ankles moving with a bit of toe tapping. If you can only use one foot, then focus on that side. Great. Lovely. Bringing those toes to a rest. I'm going to show you a side view so you can see more clearly what I'm up to. Keep your toes down, just going to allow your heels to lift and fall. So bouncing gently on your heels, getting a bit more movement in those ankles. Lovely. So bring those feet to a rest. This video is just a taste of what we do at Possibility. In a session, you get a whole hour of exercise. Um, so this is just a few. We're going to get the knees moving next. Bring one foot forward if you can. Rest the heel on the floor. Bring a little lift. Bring that foot back to its position. So that's heel and place. That's it. See how your knee is feeling. If it's not too stiff, maybe you can extend the movement from the heel through to your toes, so bring the foot slightly under the chair. 
and a wider range of movement in the knee if you can. If that's too difficult, then continue with heel in place. Wonderful. I'm going to bring that foot to rest and we'll do the same with the other leg. So front on view, that's heel and place. Great. And extending the movement if you're able to from your heel through to your toe, foot coming under the chair. Again, that more, more movement in your knee. Keeping those joints moving is very important. Great, and bring that foot to rest. Lovely, we're going to take a little bit of stepping to the side, so it's some movement in your hip. So if you've had a hip replacement, you might want to keep these movements small. So we're just taking a step to the side and back. So begin on whichever leg you favour and take it gently. Okay, if you're comfortable to, maybe increase that step a little wider. Well done. Great. Bring that foot to rest for a moment. Just going to increase that movement a little bit more by bringing the knee up a little higher as you step out. And bring the knee up as you bring the foot back to centre. So it's up and out and up and back. And again, a rotation through the hip joint using these thigh muscles as well. Great. Lovely. Same on the other side. So stepping out and back. Little steps to begin with. Perhaps bring in them a little wider if you can. Just work within your range of comfort. Great, slightly bigger movement. Bring the knee up, stepping out, getting that rotation in the hip. Well done. Keep sitting nice and tall and keep breathing. <laughs> Great, and bringing that foot to rest. Well done, sitting nice and tall in the chair. Put a bit of movement through the upper body. So bring with you can bring your hands together, interlock your fingers if you can, or you may prefer to support one hand either from underneath or from over the top. Whatever suits you is fine. And we're going to make some circles over our lap. So if you're stirring a great cauldron of something, <laughs> that's it. Start to reach out all the way around in each all directions, good big circles, well done. And then start to bring those circles in, gradually reducing and coming to a rest and then a few circles in the opposite direction. So again, work up to it gently. Begin to increase that movement, you're stretching out two or three really good big stretches all the way around. And then bringing those circles in gradually reducing and come to a rest. Just relax your arms by your side, feel them nice and heavy, sitting tall in the chair and bring your shoulders up towards your ears, bit of a shrug and release that away. It may help to breathe in as you lift and out as you release. And again lift and release. Extending that to a roll, you can bring your shoulders forwards, lift them, pull them back and release the tension. I'll show you a side view, shoulders coming forwards, up, back and release. So it's all the way around. Great, and one more. And you can bring those arms to a rest. A little movement through the waist, so you might want your feet a little further apart for this one. Arms by your side, it's going to reach over your hip. Try not to bring your weight forward or back, directly over your hip, reaching down towards the floor. You feel the stretching in your waist, and then pull yourself up nice and tall in the chair. Providing that didn't make you feel at all dizzy, we'll try it again. So, reaching down towards the floor over your hip, and pulling yourself up nice and tall in the chair. Well done. Have a go in the other direction. 
if you can. Reaching over your hip, take it nice and slowly. Well done. And bring yourself up nice and tall in the chair. Ready for one more? Great. Leaning over your hip, reaching for the floor, feeling that stretch. And bring yourself up nice and tall in the chair. Well done. Lovely. So we just have a little bit of marching again. Getting those arms going as well. Perhaps try and pick up the pace a little bit. Good stuff. Lovely, slowing it down. We're getting the knees a bit higher. Really look determined. Off for a march. <laughs> you can imagine your favourite place to be. Great. And bringing that nice and slowly back to a rest. Now, those are just a few taster exercises of what we do at Possibility. Uh, we would also do some work with resistance bands like this one, which is basically a giant elastic band. Um, I'll just probably won't have one available to use at home, but all our clients who sign up get a free one sent to, directly to their door. And we do some uh, exercises for the arms, that might be for the biceps, lovely, or for the up muscles at the back of the arm, which is pulling backwards. as well as uh, strengthening the hips and sides. I'm doing this exercise. The uh, band just introduces some resistance. It's a bit like holding a weight, but more accessible. And there's one for the shoulder that work, works like this. All our online sessions are led by a qualified instructor, either myself or a colleague. They're live and in real time, so you're in the room with your instructor and with the other participants. So there's even space for a bit of chit chat to keep you connected to friends and local community. We have a social side as well, so occasionally we have a quiz night, um, and every week we have a social Zoom and we just meet to have a chat and catch up with friends. So the details of how to get in touch with Possibility are coming up on your screen. And I look forward to hearing from you.